A party of house sees the drama taken back to 1917 with the British royal family thrown into crisis when their Russian relatives reach out seeking asylum amid the Russian Revolution. In perhaps the most brutal and graphic scenes ever depicted on the crown, the Russian imperial family were led into the basement of a potty of house on the pretenses of a photograph, instead the whole family was gunned down. The show goes on to confirm a potty of house was later used as an agriculture school in 1927 after the Soviet government had labeled it the place of the last czar. What's happened to a potty of house now? A potty of house was also used as a branch of the Ural Revolution Museum and then in 1938 became an anti-religion museum. Visitors would often go there and pose by the wall in the basement and took crude photos of where the Russian imperial family was killed. By 1946, a potty of house was owned by the local Communist Party and then in 1974 the building gained significance as a monument to Russian history and the revolution. But a potty of house also became a site of pilgrimage for those paying tribute to the slain Romanovs and the government decided to take action. The house was demolished in 1977 as part of the 60th anniversary celebrations of the Russian Revolution with Boris Yeltsin, who was at the time chair of the local branch of the party, to destroy the structure. Even after the building was razed to the ground, people kept coming to pay their tributes to the family. Following the fall of the Iron Curtain, the Church on the Blood was built on the Apatyev House site and became one of the largest churches to be built in Russia. Along with the church, there is also a museum dedicated to the imperial family and serves as a memorial to them. Historian Kenig said about Apatyev House's significance, it is where they were killed and that has not been denied and I think it has become some sort of shrine. The fact that it's become a church is a very good thing. Turning it into something where people can pray. It has a very sad story. There were photos of the wall but I'm sure that's all been erased or put behind glass, this is where it happened type of thing. But you had years of the Soviet Union of the Soviets scrubbing history but the fact that amazingly most of the victims were found and the story could be told and historians could get into the archives. Koenig was making reference to the remains of the family being found near the house and later identified using DNA from living descendants. She went on to say, but that is what it is. It is sort of a shrine to what happened and becoming a church and represents what was a horrible, horrible tragedy. But whether it could have been prevented could be debated. Tsar Nicholas and his family spent 78 days in a potty of house, where they were imprisoned and guarded by soldiers. They were initially taken there in April 1918 with the building also known sinisterly as the House of Special Purpose. They lived on the upper floors while their guards lived downstairs and their lives were restricted. The family was permitted to daily exercise briefly in the enclosed garden with the windows in their living quarters blacked out. A high wooden fence was built around the perimeter of the building, separating the family from the outside world and the street. In July 1918, the family was led down the cellar, believing they were going to be evacuated and instead they were indiscriminately killed. Due to the close proximity and some members of the family concealing jewelry beneath their clothes, the bullets ricocheted and the massacre lasted for half an hour. The Crown Season 5 is streaming on Netflix now.